Yo, what's going on everyone? It's Brian and Jim here, and we are here with our March Level 50 Club update. Yes, we are continuing on with our quest to 50 games beaten in the year of 2022. And uh, yeah, I slowed up like crazy. <laughs> Jim, we were knocking it out of the park in January and February, and it's like... That spring forward happened, and, and it really screwed us. Hit a speed bump. The speed bumps were ahead. A yeah. A lot of drinking nights for birthdays were ahead, and a lot of recovery days. <laughs> yeah, and obviously, we're also we're not together right now. Unfortunately, I'm sick, and I'm trying to be nice to Jim and not get him sickies either. Yeah. But um, we still want to get this out on in time, and I only have two games. Jim only has one this month. And my first game is actually something that's left over from last month. Um, it was, I guess I just got tired of saying puppet combo. It's another puppet combo with At Night It Follows. And that was one that you guys helped watch on stream with me, which I always appreciate. And it was creepy as hell, but it was also like, it was the weirdest, like, looked like it had been done in uh, Microsoft Paint. But somehow, like, it wasn't terrible to control. I, I can't explain it. You would think it is, but it actually isn't. Um, it's a creepy little game. You can get through it in 20 to 25 minutes if you know what you're doing. Or if you're like me, you die 10 times in a row until you figure out what you're doing. That being said, I can't really recommend it, even for diehard horror fans. If you're a Patreon supporter of Puppet Combo, then of course play it. Otherwise, don't go out of your way. But I'll give it a C plus just for atmosphere and because there is some real creepy shit going on in that game. And then my final game of the month. And man, whew, what a game. God of War. So this was on my resolution list. As Jim and I mentioned last month, we both got the PS5s. So now I'm diving deep into the, that um, those games. And God of War is the first one I hit up. It was... The best God of War game, my favorite third-person action game. It could easily be in my top five favorite games. Like I, I'm a sucker for Norse mythology. I always loved the God of War series, and I like that it wasn't just a mindless like all the other hack and slash games where it's just like combo, combo, combo. Co it's like no, no, no. You have to like block and parry. So the combat combat was a little bit more fleshed out, and the story with the uh, Maybe because I'm a parent now. Like, the father-son dynamic in it was, like, really cool to see that, too. Um, the little twist that I won't give anything away. I just, I loved everything about it. It fully deserved winning Game of the Year the year it did. So, it's an easy, easy S for me. I highly, highly recommend it. Not even that hard of a game unless you do that goddamn Valkyrie boss fight, which I did. And I died probably 30 times at least, if not more. But excellent, excellent game. Highly recommend. Yeah, and my only game that I played. Uh, <laughs> well, not that I played. Like, I, Elden Ring's been like my long form game, but I haven't had a ton of game in gen or a ton of time in general to game this month. But I did beat one, and that is WrestleMania, the arcade game on the Sega Genesis. So I played it the day Scott Hall died. Played his Razor Ramon. Gave him a send off with the world title belt. It's a game you can beat in like a half hour if you know what you're doing. It's not an easy game, actually. It's, since it's an arcade port, like, it's made to crunch the quarters. So, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, you're going to get your butt kicked over and over again. But it's a super fun game, stupid arcadey action. Plays kind of like Mortal Kombat with the combat system. Uh, it's also by Midway, so it explains that. The pre-rendered digitized graphics look awesome. It's the only version with music between that, the Super NES, and the 32X versions. So hmm. that's weirdly random. Really? And yeah, like the Super NES version is missing two characters and it's missing music, so that's like the worst version. And the 32X looks better, but it's also like doesn't have the music in there, so it's, it's weird. So for whatever reason, oh. the Genesis one's like the most optimized until you get to like the PS1 straight ports or whatever. So, but yeah, super fun game. It's incredibly short, not a ton of content there, but hey. I used the theme songs for my toys when I was a kid, so I have a ton of nostalgia, too. <laughs> Outside of all that, Solid B. It's a fun time, and it's definitely the wrestling game from that era, outside of, like, Fire Pro, that holds up the best. Mm -hmm. So, it's not simulation-y, it's just fun. Nice, and while Jim was talking, I actually remembered I did beat another game, and it's one, 
it's easy to forget because it, I did it on such a whim. Um, on I signed up for the PS Now, which allows you to stream like PS2, PS3, and PS4 games. So there was a PS3 game called Tales from Space Mutant Blobs Attack. Um, it's I really enjoyed this game. And you basically start as like, you know, the size of an amoeba, like really, really small. And as the levels go on, you're soon like devouring cities, eventually to devour the entire earth. And it's done in such a comical way. Think like Stubbs Zombie Without a Pulse, where there's like that like really brash humor and it's kind of goofy, but it's like such a mindless platformer. I, I, it would be a stretch to call it any kind of puzzle game, but it's more of a platformer where you have you pick up special abilities and powers. And I'm a sucker for games where you become a big slob, blob, slime, whatever, and it's like taking over cities. So it only took probably two hours tops to beat. Really, really fun game. I'm actually giving that one a B. Um, I can't give it higher because the depth of what you can do is kind of limited. You could go back for replayability and find all the little secrets, but still, it's really fun. And it's one of those games where it's like surprising because they'll have little mini games that change the view of the game or the style. It does more than it probably should. I have no idea what this game like cost brand new if it ever came out physical or anything. But I would say try it out, especially if you have PS Now, if it's available to you. It, it's worth a shot for sure. Cool. So Jim, let me ask you now. Now that we slowed down so much. What do you think hitting 50 is like for you? It's going to be closer. That's for damn sure. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to at least try to get like five games done next month. At least try to get like some consistency going. Because yeah. I was so ahead of the curve at first. Like, I, I can taper it off, but I got I to gotta do more than one. <laughs> One's not going to get it done. Do you think you hit a little bit of a burnout and that you purposely were like, all right, now I can slow down and just do a longer game? Like, whereas at the beginning of the year... January and February, you're like, you're like in that mindset, like, let me get at it, let me get at it, and then you're like, all right, I don't need to hit quite as many because I'm already up to this number. Yeah, kind of that. And there's also some like other side videos I'd like to get done. I like to have some uploads besides the podcast once in a while. So, yeah, I mean, I like it's either I'm going to work on a video, I'm going to play a game. So it's it's basically yeah. one of the other timing wise. So that makes it tough. But 50, I'll hit, but it's definitely going to be. It might be a photo finish. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I said I'm still working through Witcher 3. That game, I have no idea how long it's going to take me. I said I know it's a game that takes forever. Um, do you think you'll actually beat Elden Ring? I'd like to. It's going to be the game I keep going back to all year, but I'd like to beat it. I don't know if I'm going to beat it this year, though, if i got to beat you know another 30 games and then do website stuff and shit like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I got gotcha. you. Well, we want to say thank you to everyone who's especially been tagging us all along, whether it's in our Discord and our Twitter. Um, I basically try to resend it out every Tuesday, the updated list, but the list is always available on our website, so I do update it in between that time. Check it. If it's wrong, just tag me, tag Jim. I'll get it updated. And um, just one thing, if you are on Discord and you write us in, let me know your Twitter account, because that's what I base the picture on when I put your little picture up on the Level 50 Club. Otherwise, I won't have one. So if you have a Twitter name, let me know or send me a picture that you want for your little avatar. But outside of that, we really thank you guys. I like that you're all getting into it. Some of you are really killing it again. Todd, I know you upped your number like crazy. Like you added six or seven games this month, I think. Oh, yeah, a bunch so, of people are beating us now. Yeah, so great job, everyone. Thank you. Can't wait to see how all you do next month. And cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs>